One X Technologies Neo is a huge advancement for humanoid robotics, but it's being shipped too early on purpose. You have to ask yourself, if a humanoid robot needs a teleoperator, what is the real product here? Is it the hardware or is it the data they're able to capture with it? What's really cool to see is that Neo's body is legit. It's lightweight, it's tendon driven, and it's safe to operate. The big problem here is that the brain is the bottleneck. So what is really missing here is a shared spatial map and a centimeter level accuracy in terms of positioning so that it actually can do tasks much faster. Right now it's slow and it's brittle and it requires a human operator. But realize that the teleoperation is not a bug, it's a feature, it's a data pipeline. So a human pilot completes the tasks so that the model can learn from it and the company can keep that data and teach their robots to do it on their own next time. So the way Aoki fixes the situation is by giving devices a shared coordinate system instead of sharing video. This also creates a neutral orchestration layer where phones, glasses and robots can all come together and have a shared sense of understanding of the space they're in. When it comes to operators and investors, it's super important to understand this. The actual value accrual happens at the orchestration layer because that is the digital map that contains all the data and information. And so it's not in the humanoid because that's not efficient. Think about it. Who owns your coordinates? It should be you in your home. So if you are, building something, you have a device or an application that has utility to have a orchestration layer, at Aoki we're giving grants out. So reach out to us and see if we want to fund your idea.